Hey guys, welcome back. It's Katarina. Hope you're all having a great day so far. Today we're going to be talking all about the LA Girl Pro HD Concealers. I mentioned a couple videos back, it was my top 5 under 5 video. Um, I mentioned these and then asked you guys if you wanted me to do a whole swatch video on them and really talk in depth about them. Because they're pretty hard to find in store. You can you can find them online at a lot of different places like IK House or LA Girl's website, drugstore.com, places like that. Really large shade selection, so it's kind of hard to pick out your own shade. So I asked you guys if you wanted me to swatch what I do have and kind of maybe help you out, especially if you're the same skin tone as me or similar skin tone. But yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and let's get started. <music> look like called the LA Girl Pro HD concealers they come in 24 different shades and they retail for five dollars a little bit disappointed with the price because when I first heard about these they retailed for $2.99 then they were bumped up to $4.99 and then when I just checked their site today to make sure I have all the correct information they're at five dollars which I mean is only one cent up from $4.99 but I do believe that you can still find them for $2.99 on places like ikatehouse.com drugstore.com just shopping online um, but on the specific LA Girl website, they are running for $5 a piece now. And then I did pull up them on their uh, website on my phone. That way I can just read to you guys exactly what they claim. Um, so basically what they claim is to camouflage the appearance of skin imperfections. They're supposed to even out your skin tone. Supposed to cover dark circles, minimize fine lines, and provides customizable coverage. So basically what they're saying, it's going to be a very full coverage, but you can also alter the coverage that they're not going to crease or set onto your fine lines. They're going to be really good for that under eye area. In terms of the packaging, they come in a squeezy out tube. Right off the bat, you guys, not a fan of the packaging. I much prefer wands. I don't know why. I feel like they're so much easier to use. And this squeezy tube, it was really hard to squeeze out product at the very beginning. kind of feels like you're not getting all that much product in here as well. Um, but as for the tip, you are getting a brush applicator, which that's kind of nice, as opposed to, say, the Hard Candy, candy Glamouflage Concealer, where it's just literally, like, the stick or the tube. And that's going directly on your under eye or go on the back of your hand. But yeah, so not a big fan of the packaging, but that's okay because the concealer itself is amazing, you guys. Look at the shades. Creamy beige, natural, yellow, and nude. Again, like I mentioned, they do have 24 different shades. I believe three of them being stark shades like yellow, orange, and red or green. Um, for those like really intense brightening and alternating concealers. Let's go ahead and jump into the swatches, that way you can talk about each one and you can really see the different tones in each concealer. We're going to start with the shade Nude. This to me is a very peachy shade, it's like your peachy salmon shade and I love it. This is my favorite one that I own because I really like um, using this for correcting my under eye dark circles. You guys probably saw this in my last video, if you want to click just right over here. Um, I show you how to cover up your dark circles, how to correct them, all the steps that I use, and this concealer has a huge, huge part in that. So this is what it looks like swatched. And I'll of course insert close-up swatches as well so you can really see the true colors. So this concealer is what I have on today mixed with two others of these, but I'm only using LA Girl concealers today. That way you can really see what they're doing to my under eye area. Next we have the shade Creamy Beige. Here's what Creamy Beige looks like. It's pretty much just that. It's a very creamy beige. <laughs> and it has a slight yellow undertone. Definitely more than a pink undertone. Um, this one's a shade nude. This is Creamy Beige. Definitely pulls more yellow. But I just realized how off-center this whole background was this whole entire time. Okay, next we have the shade Natural. Like you can see, Natural is going to be a little bit more of your white yellow. Um, that makes this one here, the Creamy Beige, seem really beige compared to this one. So this one is the shade Natural and again this is really good for brightening up that under eye area. Okay, so the last one it, that I have is the Yellow Corrector and this one is very very yellow. So here is what the Yellow Corrector looks like. Like you can see compared to the rest, very yellow. But it's still, I don't want to say like a wearable yellow, but it blends in beautifully into the skin. Um, it does not look like this but it's so amazing for brightening up. I did set it with a two powders. I first did the whole baking technique that I always like to do and then I proceeded to dust that off. You guys have seen that in a lot of my videos. Um, I then dust it off with the Simply Spoiled Perfection palette. I am, I do notice a tiny bit of creasing um, 
but that is probably because I kind of caped these on today. But the tiniest, tiniest bit of creasing, but it looks beautiful under the under eyes. I don't know, I'm trying to get closer so you guys can see. It looks really nice under the under eyes. I love the way that it sits on the skin. I have very dry under eyes, and it doesn't settle into any of my fine lines. It doesn't cling onto dry patches or anything like that. It just looks really beautiful, and they're so easy to blend. Going along with that, let's just jump into the pros and cons really quick, even though I've pretty much already said it. We're just going to kind of summarize everything that we've already talked about. So, the pros. I love the shade selection. I mean, 24 shades for a concealer range, that's amazing. That is probably the best that I've seen, and I feel like that can really cater to absolutely anyone and everyone, and I it just makes me so happy with their shade selection because that is so hard sometimes shopping at the drugstore, shopping at Sephora, online, wherever you're shopping, you find a concealer that you really love the formula, but you just can't find your shade, and then it just... I mean, the shade's everything. Also, the consistency is a pro. I love the texture and formula of these. They're so creamy, and you can see they're not going to be too hydrating to where they're not going to ever set. They definitely do set, but they're very creamy, and they're very a very full coverage concealer, but they're not cakey, and that's something I really, really like about them. So that would be another pro is the coverage that you get. They're very, very full coverage and very buildable coverage, too. Of course, if you just do a little bit, you're going to get a nice sheer layer. It's going to be beautiful, very natural, but you can definitely, you know, do that extreme. Um, concealing and really cover up any of those imperfections, dark circles. The pro is the price, kind of a pro and a con. A con because they keep bumping up the price, but a pro because $5 is still an amazing, amazing price for concealer, especially something with this quality. So another pro is that they are cruelty free, like I mentioned at the beginning, never tested on animals. Pretty much everything is a pro, um, except for the packaging. I really, really do not like the packaging at all. I would much prefer this to come in at like a wand form, but I'm assuming because um, I do have a couple other concealers here, it seems like the ones in the squeezy tubes are typically going to be a little bit more of your thicker, creamy formula as opposed to like a water-based formula. Um, so I do understand that, but they're so hard to squeeze out, and sometimes you'll be pushing really hard to squeeze, and you're just going to like get a whole bob will come out and then you're wasting product so kind of a bummer there all right you guys so that completes this video i really hope that you enjoyed it and found it helpful maybe found a new concealer that you might enjoy be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel that way you stay up to date with all of my new videos every monday wednesday and friday thank you so much you guys for watching and i'll catch you in my next video bye